WWE is a well-organized company, but sometimes fans accidentally see things on the show that they really shouldn't have. This can be a major production blunder where fans end up seeing behind the scenes secrets or wrestlers in a match go completely off script and do something that fans under no circumstances should have ever seen. Join us now as we look at 10 WWE moments we weren't supposed to see. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10. The Hand Under The Ring now, The Hell In A Cell match between Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre was well received by fans, but the main talking point after the match wasn't the match quality, it was a huge blunder that fans should have never been able to see. When McIntyre was chokeslammed to the outside of the ring through a table, there was evidently a crash pad there to cushion McIntyre's fall. This was apparent when a mysterious hand appeared from under the ring to dispose of any evidence. This received widespread criticism from fans and if WWE were going to use a crew member to hide the evidence, the best thing to do would have been to not literally show them on camera. It was a terrible blunder that definitely hindered the legacy of the match itself. Number 9. Tucker Script It's no secret that the majority of promos in WWE are scripted, but in 2020, fans witnessed a major blunder which no doubt led to Vince McMahon kicking up a fuss backstage. The Hell in a Cell pay-per-view featured The Miz capturing the Money in the Bank briefcase by defeating Otis. This match featured a notable heel turn from Tucker who turned on his best friend, ending the heavy machinery tank team in the process. Following this, Miz and John Morrison would then take part in a backstage interview when suddenly they would be interrupted by Tucker. Tucker noticeably had a promo script in his hand and when he realized this, he hilariously threw it to the side, hoping that nobody would notice. Tucker drastically moved down the card following the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view and he would even spend the rest of his WWE career in the 24-7 title division before his eventual release in 2021. Number 8. Kevin Patrick Crouching Down Vince McMahon has always wanted to make the wrestlers in WWE appear larger than life. This is often achieved via smart camera work, but in 2021, WWE's camera tricks were greatly exposed. During a backstage segment between the Mysterios and Austin Theory, the camera would track back to reveal interviewer Kevin Patrick crouching down. This was obviously done to make Patrick look considerably smaller and make the other wrestlers in the segment appear much larger than they actually were. Once this segment was exposed on social media, fans were quick to address how McMahon's viewpoints on wrestling are insanely outdated. Nobody cares anymore about the size of wrestlers and it was even more evidence that McMahon was out of touch with what the modern day WWE fan cared about. Number 7. Sheamus and Drew McIntyre casually have a chat The 2023 Men's Royal Rumble for the most part was well executed, but the camera work was criticised in the match itself. Specific criticism came when WWE managed to capture Sheamus and Drew McIntyre resting in the ring, but as they were resting, it was clear that they were having a full-blown conversation. This happened several times during the match itself, and the two former WWE champions likely thought that they weren't in the shot. Number 6. Eve Therese casually strolls into the ambulance The rivalry between Cena and Kane received backlash, mainly because it ruined Zack Ryder's character in WWE. Ryder being involved in a storyline with two WWE greats should have been the catalyst for a major push, but it was a total disaster. Outside of the rivalry being known for the downfall of Ryder's original character, it's also known for one of the biggest production mistakes in Raw history. On the February 14th, 2012 edition of Raw, Cena was being interviewed backstage when he was distracted by Eve Therese screaming. When the camera cut to the commotion, Eve Therese was casually walking into the back of the ambulance with Kane standing unceremoniously at the ambulance door. To make the segment even worse, a production team's member's script was in a shot and he motioned to Kane when it was time to go live. WWE were quick to edit this segment on replays of the show and the YouTube upload of the segment completely edited out the mistake. Number 5. Vince McMahon's Direct Memo a Talking Smack was notoriously a show which focused on character development and allowed talent to let loose and cut mostly unscripted promos related to their current storylines. Unfortunately, in 2020, it surfaced that McMahon was still heavily micromanaging what talent was saying and this secret was revealed thanks to Paul Heyman accidentally showing a memo on the camera. Heyman was on the show when he showed a piece of paper which read, Identify all consequences if Roman loses, per Vince. 
This should have never been seen on camera and Heyman likely got chewed out by McMahon once that particular episode of Talking Smack had gone off the air. Number 4. Catching a Breather It's common practice in WWE for wrestlers in a match to slow down the pace during a commercial break. This is because most of the action should be seen by the TV audience, however, during the pandemic, WWE decided to change the way they produce Raw and SmackDown. When WWE was presented at the Performance Center, they allowed talent to stop wrestling during the commercial breaks entirely. This actually made a ton of sense as there were no fans in attendance, so wrestlers had no reason to be wasting their energy. But the issue was that this captured on camera during a match between Sasha Banks and Bayley taking on Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. This leaked footage was believed to be shown in selected international markets, but when footage appeared on social media, it quickly blew up and went viral. Number 3. The Blood Capsule As since WWE transitioned into a PG product in the summer of 2008, blood has been strictly prohibited outside of rare occasions. One of these occasions was in 2016 when WWE decided to elevate the feud between Roman Reigns and Triple H on the road to WrestleMania 32. Interestingly, the bloodshed on display wouldn't be caused by a traditional razor cut, instead they would use a blood capsule which was discreetly passed to Reigns by commentator Byron Saxton. Triple H would smash Reigns' head against the announce table and this is when Saxton would pass Reigns the capsule. This was a smart idea but WWE stupidly shot Saxton passing Reigns the capsule in clear view so it was obvious what was going down. It may have been a smarter approach for Reigns to have the capsule stored in his pocket as this would have been way less discreet and WWE would have been able to avoid showing it on camera. Number 2. Michael Cole Reads From A Script and one of the criticisms that's often directed towards Michael Cole is that he sounds scripted. This was especially the case when Vince McMahon was overseeing the WWE commentary team as Cole was propelled to say certain lines which made most of his commentary sound very unnatural. WWE's excessive scripting of Cole's commentary was greatly exposed at WrestleMania 32 in front of the entire world as Cole was seen literally reading off a piece of paper during one of the most notable moments of the show. When Shane McMahon infamously jumped from the top of the Hell in a Cell structure, Cole could be seen on camera reading a script as he declared, oh, for the love of mankind! This moment was heavily criticized by fans as it took away from the authenticity of what should have been an iconic moment. Even though Cole and WWE were quite rightly called out for this, Cole's recent work in WWE under Triple H has received widespread acclaim. Cole now comes across as natural and it's obvious just how much love and passion he has for pro wrestling. And number 1. The Undertaker Starts Digging As the 2003 Survivor Series event featured a stacked card including Team Austin vs Team Bischoff and Team Angle vs Team Lesnar, but perhaps the most intriguing match on the show was a buried alive match between Vince and The Undertaker. This match was set to write The Undertaker off TV and subsequently retire the beloved biker character. The match predominantly featured The Undertaker destroying McMahon but when Kane got involved, the match took a drastic turn. Kane assisted McMahon in winning the match and burying alive The Undertaker as a result. The WWE's production team failed in their role to hide the secrets of the buried alive match type as towards the end of the match, it was hard to ignore the fact that viewers could see the dead man using a shovel in the grave, likely using it to access a trap door this would have allowed him to reach a place of safety. The next time the camera panned to the grave, The Undertaker was selling but the shovel had mysteriously gone missing, so it was unclear that the entrance to the trap door was now fully open and it was time for Taker to make his escape. But there you have it folks, 10 WWE moments we weren't supposed to see. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.